SoFi update on 719. I'm going to show you exactly where we're at in the chart. So we have wave one, ABC, wave two. And uh, we are currently in the third wave of the third wave. So we have one, two. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. This will be the third wave, wherever this ends. So we'll put a question mark right here. So we are currently one, two, three, four on the fifth wave. Um, I think we're on the fourth wave overall of this fifth wave. So we might have a little bit higher to go. Maybe, um, maybe 665 to 670 if we're finished, which we could be finished because we did break the third wave um, high. This would just be the third wave of the third wave. So what do we have to look forward to? Like I said in the last video, we need to break 698 in order to um, be longer than the first wave. And then that will give us the fifth wave, the opportunity to go higher if it wants to. Um, so let's just say the third wave is finished on the third wave. I'd be looking for a pullback to about 642. And then the third wave would end third wave would end at 686. So we can put a line there that'd be our tar my target 686. And that would be only the third wave though. So put this right here. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, pull back to 642, one more move higher for three. So we have one, two, three, 686, pull back to 660. I'm just going to see if we're going to get make that uh, 98, 698. So that's right there. And look at that. Good news. More than likely, we should hit uh, 7.13 to 7.27 for the overall third wave. So that would make us longer than the first, the third wave. I'm sorry, the first wave. So let's just say we hit 7.13 on the low side. Then I would be looking for 6.80 pullback for the overall fourth wave. And then we can do one more calculation, 713. And that only takes us actually to, it's on the low side, remember, 713 to 727 is my target. That would take us 780 all the way to 803. So that's pretty much my target. My target was like 830 or 840. And it could definitely get there because I did the low side target. But we're right on track. When I first looked at this, I was like, we're kind of lagging along. We need to get above 698. But I would say we have a very good, very good odds of getting above 698 and making it to low sevens and then eventually making it to at least eight bucks. So uh, tomorrow, look for the finishing of the third wave, pull back for the fourth wave, and then we'll get one more move higher for the fifth wave um, at 7 to like 7.30 or so, something like that. So third wave not finished, but the third wave of the third wave is almost finished. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to you. You can look at the chart a little bit longer if you want, but... Uh, we are still in the third wave and the overall market still has a little bit higher to go, I think, and then pulling back and then one more move higher after that. So 
hopefully that helps you out a little bit with whatever you're doing, selling cover calls, buying calls, whatever you need to do. Um, make some money on this move and get ready for the next downside move because I think that it's going to be pretty um, severe in my opinion. So I will update you guys tomorrow um, after the market. But uh, that's it for now. Leave a comment and like and subscribe.